That was a really great couple of weeks relaxing. And I do feel relaxed and refreshed. <laughs> Even when I picked up a mouse and a keyboard this morning, I could feel that my fingers were not as sore as normal. But uh, back on my bike, which I'm very much enjoying. Feels good to get back on your bike after a break. And back to work, back to the routine. I'm meeting 40 odd new physician associate students today and 150 odd new medicine students tomorrow and we're going to get them warmed up to start teaching them anatomy next week Today is the 30th of August, um, so this is when our academic year runs from. Really in the UK academic years run from about October, uh, so we'll see new undergraduate students appearing to all the other courses in October-ish, uh, through till May, June when they have their exams. But for us teaching medicine and other subjects where we have way too much to teach, um, we extend the year out. So we. I mean, this week's an induction week, next week is the first week of teaching, but we run from end of August, certainly beginning of September, through till July and a bit of August. So it's a long year. Don't worry, I am going to put a shirt on. Um, right, so I'd better... i better do the scary job of checking my email, because if there's any poop that's hit any fan and spread it around, that's where I'm going to find it. But I'm sure everything's plain sailing, right? Uh, so I'll check my email, I'll get ready for... <laughs> I'll get ready for um, seeing the students and um, leave me to do a week of work and we'll do something more interesting on the weekend, all right? I'll see you then. My worst thing is... What? Stinging nails. Oh no, more cycling, different cycling. It's a wet and windy weekend. Um, it looks like we're coming to the end of the sea kayaking season as the winds get more windy. And as the weather gets a bit wetter, yeah, we still climb either indoors or out, but it gets a bit more indoor. So mountain biking is a good, awesome activity. It tends to become a bit of a regular thing. So we've got lots of new people starting the course, lots of new people learning. I've hinted before that there is a, well it's not a secret, there's a thing about learning that nobody tells you and you kind of have to experience it for yourself. Um, I'll tell you about it but you, I don't know, you might not believe me until you've done it. Oh, it's a bit slippery. Okay, it's very slippery for the way. You going down first? No, you go. Oh, I've missed. I've gone down the steps. That sounded a bit close. We got a pretty, We got a tree in the way. So it looks like a tree had grown in front of the steps on the last one. Oh, it's pushed me out into the steps, which was fine. This is a big tree. Looks like there's more trees down. So the thing about learning is, right, okay. Uh, here's a standpoint for you. I know nothing. So I teach you every week about anatomy, but I feel like I know nothing. Um, so when you still oh good. Uh, did it. Um, so 
you approach a new subject, you look at that subject, it looks vast and unknowable and complicated and how much is there to know? And then you start learning, you start studying, and you, you start getting to grips with it. The risk is you feel like you need to know everything now. Be patient, take your time, pace yourself. That knowledge will slowly grow and link with other things. Um, and then you start to get to grips with the subject and you think, yeah, I know this, I got this, I understand this, this is easy. And then you start to realize how much deeper the subject is than you ever realized before. And when you start to become like really good at something, when you start to become an expert in a topic, that's when you realize I know nothing. Hiya. Hiya. I'm guessing there's a dog around here somewhere. Yeah, she is, she is, <laughs> we use a number of bridle paths to get from home to an area of mountain biking nearby. And the council is slowly turning them into, oh, there is one, tarmac cycle paths. Which might not be great for mountain biking, but are great for commuting. It's weird now, this tarmac. Oh, yeah. So if you're starting off down this path of studying anatomy or studying any topic, be aware that you'll go through those stages and your teachers will be aware of those stages so that the, fir <laughs> the first stage of teaching is a little bit softly, softly, don't tell them the whole terrible truth just yet. We'll let all the knowledge grow, block, 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 slowly, and then the whole horrible truth will become apparent and dawn on them uh, later when they need it. And then you can either, that's the trick, you can either wrestle with it then if you need that depth and that detail because that's the specialist area you're going to go into, or you can hold back and say, I have the knowledge that's useful. Tick. All right, here we go then. Up the climb. Let's see if any trees have fallen down. Let's see if Kim can get up without putting a foot down. It has been a very dry year this year, unusually dry, especially for Wales, which is very wet. But it will get muddier and muddier over the next couple of months, which is how I like it. Still going, still going. Still doing it. I reckon it should be all right today because it's not so muddy. I reckon a lot of steeper trails are being cut by people with electric mountain bikes. What did you do? Came around the bend and hit a big rock and the back end skidded out and went flying. You fell off going uphill. Ow. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, it's just land, it's really heavy. You say I thought you got this one, I thought no bother. So did I. Ow! <laughs> Ooh. You take your bike if you're right. Landed like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> oh. I thought you had that one easy, no bother, so because dry. you were pacing it and it was nice and dry. Yeah, I just went round the corner and I hit a rock and I just went yeah. skidded like that. And then, oh, flip. So the rock on the front wheel, not the back? Front of the front. Yeah, you got to watch out for those rocks on dark I thought I'd, uh, they jump out at you. I thought I could rectify it, but I just. <laughs> oh so you went down like a sack of spuds. Yeah, did my feet you? didn't even come out of the pedal. Yeah, no, I'll bet. Yeah, when you're going that slow, you just go thunk. Oh. Oh dear. Second section done. That's as high as we're going to climb today. So another tip for training, if you've had a bit of time off, be gentle to yourself the first couple of times back. We're going to save the, the rest of the climb for next time. Something to look forward to. Also Kim's knackered. I'm knackered. Oh, wow, practice. Uh, downhill now.
okay? Yeah, so just take my glasses off, they're really distracting me. Yeah. They're right around the top of my head and I'm worried that they're going to drop them and they're going to lose them. Yeah, it's alright, it's in your back pocket. It takes ages to get up and takes no time at all to get down again. It took me ages to come down. Okay, I <laughs> no, you went that slow. I was being really cautious. No, well, next bit might still be muddy even after. It's still really rocky, it's much rockier than it used to be. Yeah, it's getting warm. So, where you had sort of a smooth line before, you just got just sort of big bits of rock. And as you go around those big berms, you never know what hole there's going to be waiting exactly. for you. Exactly, you go around see. and then go, ah! We stayed up probably going downhill. Yay! At least I went really, really, really slow. <laughs> I was like, slow down fine. every bump and nook and cranny. Slow is safe, right? Uh, not quite a Brennan next. I have to go to Avon. Avon next, then quite a Brennan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Best noodle home.